my lovely follower please share this video with your friend and subscribe i want you to support me whatever income comes from my video i will match that equally and give it away as for charity love you all when we do good things to others, we do as much as and the more good to ourselves. Hello, my lovely follower. Today, I want to share with you some special topic about the charity. Charity is a win-win situation. So we recommend it and I will show you how our family always use that as a basic route for the family to give away. Please stay with me till the end of the episode because we have a lot of good and nice story. Maybe it will encourage you or trigger you to do better than us. So the cases actually I will present today is is first my wife long time in Tennessee in 1988 she won a big pig oh. in Tennessee the other issue I want to talk to you about the how we made pickles cookies and this all of that to support charity because we didn't have money at that time the other issue is my wife also she worked as a babysitting uh, while we are in hard time and all the money was allocated to charity so let's start thanks to Allah for everything we have and uh, with such wonderful family we have and also for such wonderful followers I have in short time I thank Thank you all please don't forget just subscribe write your comments like it and if you have any suggestion let me know so charity is very important to do although we struggle as a family and we have very hard time but we never stop to give building the seed is very important so make it a habit of in the family to give away and this will not actually lose if you give god give you more so please don't actually think this is loss or actually you are losing or your budget become thinner giving away will actually enrich you and you become richer I think it is time for me to just give you some brief about my wife because in this episode my wife is the main actor of this because she was really always acting in behalf of the family for charity and for shaping the behavior of the kids because I used to work full time. So my wife Siham Kazad, she born in Baghdad and she graduated from University of Baghdad as the biology major and this she started teaching at secondary school in biology subject for a long time in Iraq and the number one of the family's priority was always to take care of all the kids so I asked my wife she doesn't need to work she needs to be at home so taking care of all the kids and enjoy your time with them and so forth obviously we, we have very hard time so my wife and all the family suffer in certain situation financially and of course cross-cultural also the problem but we try to get together and to work hard to succeed and very important is to be always together and to work very hard. Okay, let me start now in detail about the first story. The first story about the charity here is my wife won a big pig in Tennessee, United States of America. In the exhibition, they put big pig and they said, anybody want to volunteer to just write slip on the slip of paper, how much this big weight. So over three days, people writing because it was free. Some people five, six times, they put the guessing the weight of the pig. Siham, my wife, she only wrote one number. She said it was her weight in certain time. So she liked the number. It was 151 pound. So she wrote it down. She guessed that and then we are sitting at home she's sitting at home and she talked to me and say oh I'm just thinking in case if I win this pig what I will do with that I said don't worry you don't you will not win and then while we are talking and then after a while we the telephone rang and hello hello say is Siham is there say, yes she won a big pig oh my goodness <laughs> Then we started thinking what to do with the pig. Since we, are, we have a very hard, actually, financial situation, my son was 14 years at that time, Khalid. Khalid said, let's sell it. Like we can at least make $700. So at the end, I said no. Both of us, or the family said, no, we don't sell that. We want to give it away. So let's look for some organization which has actually accepted that. So we check and we give it to Salvation Army in the city. All the people, of course, they have celebrate and they were very pleased to have it so we donate completely directly to the Salvation Army. I would like also to tell you 
about other activities, charities like we own. We did not have money, so we made and sold pickles, cookies to support charity at the time when actually the crisis and problem was very hard for many people, let's say in Iraq and other countries. So my wife made also $4,000 at that time from babysitting for a certain period. Also, we give all of us for charity. Another issue is she had a garage sale. I mean, people uh, known in, in America, garage sale, and we have a lot of clothes, uh, you know, antiques. So we sold over two days, made money, and also send it for charity. Another issue was some exhibition for selling clothes and so on. So I told my wife, let's go and participate in that. And she brought something from abroad, like a scarf, clothing, and all of that. She went and sold that for the charity. Also, one very important thing, my wife, she was very caring about the charity. She put a box in each room for Huda, Muna, and Alia, and Khalid, and ourselves. Small box to put always extra money there, and at the end, collect that money at the end of the month and send it for the charity. The purpose of that is to make a habit, not actually the money. Money may be not too much, but to make habit indicates that they are really, when they help, let's see, put yourself in their shoes if you are there. They don't have maybe money, maybe they don't have food, they don't have clothes. So you have to share, you have to give always. That habit is continue with Huda Beauty, of course, our lovely uh, family, Alia and Huda and Mona and my wife and myself now. We always actually feel responsibility, not actually that is we are doing because we have to do it. I think it's a responsibility to share and to give. So we are continuing to give this giveaway all the time. And Huda Beauty, I'm really proud of you. Huda and Muna and Alia, you are participating in the many actual organization for giveaway. Now I am coming to question, what can you do? As a course, you are listening to this, let's say topic. I will ask you, think, can you think of time when you have a chance to actually help someone? What did you, you do? Did you choose to actually to give away as a charity or not? See, I think you have to give away because just imagine you are desperate and you are in that place somebody ask you for help also good deeds give you superpower so this is by harvard university the study claims people feel stronger and have greater willpower yeah. after donating something how can do support charity of course i personally as i think you should actually help directly the most needy people and the closest people you know then you go to the charity of organization charity and so forth because direct is helping is much better than actually through certain organization. As always, before I end this video, let me share with you the quote of the day. As you're giving for charity, the purse is minimized. Of course, your money will be less, but your heart is filled with love and empathy. That's very important. So please don't forget to write comments, subscribe, and put any question you have here. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, if you need something or some special topic, just put in the comments and I will be responding to you as soon as possible. I love you all. Hallelujah!